Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back, uh, another new video. This one's a little bit different. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any fishing video. I actually just got back from fishing. Um, slow day, uh, we got some warm weather, so the pond's kind of iced out. Um, but this one's a little bit different. Um, over the course of me kind of starting up my own channel and kind of building it up, uh, obviously, I'm just your average person. Um, through that, over the course of me building up videos and uh, per, uh, releasing them out to YouTube and for anybody to see, I got to meet some new people. Uh, I met a guy named Peter Haskin. Peter Haskin lives in uh, California, and, and long story short, he makes his own baits. He just pours them himself. Uh, but there's a story behind it. There's a reason why he does this, and I'd like to share that with you. Uh, like I said, uh, Peter's from California. Um, grew up around fishing with his father, going out fishing for bass and stripers. Uh, all in all, his main passion was throwing plastics. Uh, as he kind of grew older, uh, as most of us know, um, we have responsibilities that we need to take care of, and work kind of consumes a lot of our uh, a lot of our time. Unfortunately, something something happened to Peter. Um, he got hit with an autoimmune disease, it's called Wegner's, uh, where you're basically, your body organs kind of fight themselves, and he found himself, uh, you know, obviously uh, having a hard time being able to really come up with the energy to do his normal routine. Two years he was stuck in bed. Um, Two years it took him to, uh, you know, enough energy to really get back out, get up, and be able to do anything. Um, in this process, uh, when he was able to come up with enough strength, um, he decided that he wanted to teach himself something, um, and that was to pour his own lures. Uh, his uncle, who actually used to uh, compete in the BASS circuit um, in the 80s, uh, he learned a lot from how to you know create the own lures and uh, what colors to use um, and through this process uh, you know during a time of despair he's able to teach himself new skills new processes that allowed him to really start combating where doctors told him that hey you know you're, you're never going to really be able to live the same and unfortunately he's not um, but through all the odds uh, where doctors told him that, uh, you know, he's never going to be able to have children. He's never going to be able to really live the same lifestyle that he used to. He's been fighting the odds himself, where now he's a proud father of a five-month-old little girl. He's also married. He also is able to go out and fish. And nothing is better to him when he's able to catch his personal best on a lure that he was able to create himself. So, uh, this is a little bit different unboxing. Um, I like to show you kind of the things that he sent me. Um, I think Peter would be the first one to admit that these aren't professional grade uh, uh, lures where they're manufactured through you know mass production where they're clean cut. I think each and every one of them have uh, defects to a degree if your average fisherman were to look at it they would see that, hey, they're not all poured exactly the same. I think he would be the first to admit that. But I think this is where it kind of gives it character. And uh, what I mean by that is, you know, every lure kind of has a different type of shape, a different feel. And uh, whether they resemble a grub or a senko style or a, a crawl, um, they're just a little bit different. So, so with that being said, um, let's start pulling some of these out and seeing what they're all about. So mind you, they're hand poured. So uh, they're definitely um, uh, really, really, uh, what's the, really soft, basically. Um, I got to touch a couple and was able to see how uh, they were kind of made. And um, you know what? I think they're awesome, honestly. So uh, as I'm looking at this one, this one is a four inch watermelon Christmas. I love how they're, the names, Peter. By the way, I wanna, I'm hoping to uh, name these lures PH lures. I don't know if you uh, already coined that for yourself, but I thought that was pretty cool. This is a straight tail, four inch. 
to show you. It's basically a drop shot, similar to that format. So uh, with him being able to pour his own lures, uh, a lot of these lures have a flat underbelly just to make sure that they press straight um, as they fight in the mold. Um, but I promise you, they're still gonna work and they're still gonna give it the lifelike action that you want it to. I mean, it's very, very, very uh, soft. Um, and uh, I can tell why you call it Watermelon Christmas. It has uh, uh, the dark green with a uh, red fleck inside of it with other green sparkles. So uh, I thought that was really cool. Nice one, Peter. Four inch Watermelon Christmas, straight tail. This one's called a uh, four inch black grape with blue flake. It's a grub paddle tail. So it looks like it's a, it's a pretty beefy design uh, at the head of it, but then it has a paddle tail in the back. So just to kind of show you guys, I don't know how it's gonna come out. Maybe I'm gonna have to show you like this. I mean, there's just so many things you could put this. You could put this as trailer for like a chatterbait, put it as a uh, regular Texas rig, there's just so many different things. I can see why, I mean, with Peter being able to create his own lures, he can create his own style of fishing basically for how he wants to fish and what kind of conditions he would like to fish in. I was actually kind of one of my favorites. I know it's uh, as, as basic as it is. I mean, I just looked at it and I thought it was really cool. Um, was this cigar shaped four inch? It's green pumpkin with black flake uh, cigar type. It's just like a very simplistic, but you know it's gonna catch you fish, whether it's wacky rigged. I mean, look at that. It almost reminds me of like a backslider. But uh, really cool, I really like the feel and the texture of it. Peter, I'm impressed, man. This is awesome. One uh, plastic that I've never seen before, and when I saw it out of the, uh, out of the box, it's a four and a half inch leech, which is really cool. I mean, it's almost like a extended paddle tail, but if you see, See that? I mean, you could just do so many different things with it. It has uh, <clears throat> basically gold flakes in it, blue, uh, silver, purple. Just looks really cool. I mean, drop shot, I mean, just kind of the way it's gonna flow in the water. It's gonna definitely have that paddle-like action. <clears throat> sent me a whole bunch of grubs. Thank you, Peter. I like grubs. Look at this bad boy. I mean, minnow silver. Look at that. Yes. Peter probably put like at least a cup full of sprinkles on this. Not sprinkles, but sparkles. Woo! That one's cool. For some of you guys who are crawl lovers, this is California Crawl, made by Peter. It actually has a really bulky design, but it's not overly big. But if you can tell, I mean, it just really actually has that crawl imitation where the upper body is really kind of fat and then the back is, uh, you know, ridged like. Really nice design. Um, the claws are actually pretty thick so it's gonna probably come through the water um, uh, shaking or wobbling what would be the word flapping yeah flapping um, they're actually Peter said that they're actually soft and not durable but um, I mean pretty durable to me Yeah, Peter, I don't know what you're talking about, but they're pretty durable, dude. Pretty durable, guys. Wow. <clears throat> For you Senko lovers, Peter does make Senko styles. He makes uh, 
five inch black and blue. Here's black and blue. If I could open the bag, look at that. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you did this by design, but that the ridge at the bottom kind of gives you like a perfect way to put a hook and expose it perfectly. I mean, I don't know, you're gonna know better than me, but I just thought that was kind of cool. You could really kind of like embed or keep the hook point right in that little ridge and you don't even have to probably uh, um, put it right down. Another five and a half inch Senko style jet black, similar kind of format. Send me some of the uh, the five and a half inch uh, pumpkin fall confetti. This one looks a little bit bulkier, so I will show you guys that. And I really want to show you guys some of these uh, straight tail worms. Yeah, has like a. <clears throat> Some of the flakes are popping off, but it's okay. I like that color. Pumpkin fall confetti. I like it. This one for you guys who uh, are shaky head lovers. Six inch straight tail chartreuse tip right there. If you guys can see that. He can do that as well. Nice black. As you know, it's like a June bug. It's black and blue for sure. But it also has a hint of June bug. But I'll classify that black and blue. Chartreuse tip. That's pretty cool. Another nice drop shot type of style bait. Or you can put it on anything. This is a little bit longer. Four inch black and blue curly tail. But that was really nice. All in all guys, this is my thing. And again, I'm sure Peter would agree. These aren't professional grade lures. But the fact stands true. If you make your own lures, and you're able to catch your own fish. And you're able to have fun doing it. And you're able to expose other people to the same, you know, joy and satisfaction. You're pretty successful. Or you have something in the, in the future that's uh, very bright. Um, the last one I'm going to show you guys is a 3 inch grub. Right there. A little bit bulkier than the first one but a uh, really cool design. I'm gonna call this one, uh, it has a June bug, June bug look, but it's almost translucent as well. So all in all guys, you know, I can't thank Peter enough. Um, I just can't wait to throw these. Uh, I'm gonna definitely be putting some on the water footage of them. Um, unfortunately, we're probably gonna go into a deep freeze again here in New Jersey all the ponds and the lakes are going to freeze over again. So um, stay tuned. I'm looking forward to throwing these and maybe I'm going to catch my personal best. So Peter, um, I thank you. I appreciate um, all the lures that you sent me. If you guys don't mind, uh, please like and subscribe uh, my channel. But also look right here. This is Peter's channel. Uh, go over there, take a look at his channel, like and subscribe his channel as well. Uh, we're just trying to grow the fishing community on YouTube one step at a time. With that being said, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you guys all later. Have a good one. Bye.